Hi everyone, welcome back. We're heading into episode 3 of Boys Lockdown. Oh, I like the characters. It's got a very light feel to it. It's definitely not a very heavy episode. I am intrigued about Dicky, And so it's such a weird thing to hear that name because in Britain, it's obviously a name for Richard, but also it's a very old way to say someone's name. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I wonder how long he has to work these hours for, because he's a volunteer. Do they make him stay there all day? And see, they have all quarantined passes. We don't have that. Okay, I think he's trying to flirt. I mean, he's smiling at him. I don't know why that seems so weird, him rubbing his hands like that with a smile on his face. But a bit... sexual. I don't think Tiny Dicks is it interested in you, Dicky. Nice yeah, he doesn't care. Uh, I'm okay, I'm just waiting for someone. Uh, I think na pagal na ako ng content. Ano bang inabang natin? Food delivery ba? No. Nope. Gusto mo? Adin ko na sa inyo. Or tau ko na sa inyo pag nandyan na. Yeah, bet you'll call ah, his house. Kasi dito nagsiyar lang hindi na ako binalikan ni. Eh. Ah, uh, no. Okay lang po manong just waiting for a friend. Ano ang tawag yung manong? Ito naman. Ang tatay ko yung minamanong dito. Yeah, but I think he's trying to tell you he's not interested. Okay, po kuya. I mean, Dicky na lang. Just Dicky. <laughs> Definitely relates to the generations. Para sa Facebook ba yan? I know, kuya. I, I mean, Dicky. You know Optic? Yung app? Optic? Ano? Ano ba yan? Ano ba yan? Turo mo sa kanya? Or YouTube? Ah, uh, download mo mo ni app. Yeah. I guess uh, it's kind of like YouTube because you can put a video up. Video, basta kasi iklinon yung ginagawa mo. Ah, oh, basta wag yung or nakakabasa sa iba. Like for example, ako may di ako mag-share ng videos ko kasama yung puppy namin minsan. Okay. Ako kasi naisip ko gusto ko yung mga Everyone's a dancer in this show. Oh, pwedeng pwede yun. Practice tayo. So, anong gagawin natin? Ito. Well, we just saw him do body rolls, so we know he can dance by the way he moved his body. He's another really muscular one, that dicky. Look at the size of his arm. So all day they're just going to do these videos. Yeah, see, told you he could dance. Just watch how he moves his body. Yeah, see? Oh, here we go. Just takes off his shirt. See, is this going to be a missed opportunity for them right now, this episode? So you're just going to sit there with your shirt off? I mean, if you have a body like that, why not? Nothing wrong with the showing off. No way, no way, Jose. Cool story, bro. Bro. Ito, ito. Siya dito. Nanay. Sabi niya, He's just trying to impress Chen. 
But also, maybe Dickie doesn't have many people to talk to, so it's nice for him to be able to actually talk to someone. Recently, I met someone whom I really want to get to know a lot better. She didn't show up. He has a reason. He crush for two hours, and he didn't show up. <laughs> Sorry. Post this or will this content be off brand? I mean, what you're allowed you to post that. Musk. Sorry. Musk. Well, then why did you go so close to his face? Um, an ex. Manage my expectations niya. Hindi sa lang yung puso mo. Yung padalos-dalos. Ato mo yan. Well, they do say fools rush in, but gladly. You didn't even message me. Oh. You know what? Just, I'm enjoying it. They have really nice bodies. I think he's having a bit too much fun. <laughs> press down there. Hi, salamat. Gumagalo na rin. Ang gano'n ako? Ha? Eh, sinusong ko kasi ng telepono ko eh. Pag iba-ibang moods. Tinan mo, okay na ulit to. Parang wala nangyari. Mana ba yung telepono mo sa... Amo niya? Baka nagilokano din niya kapag na-stress ha? O, bilis na. Sige na. Message mo na yung... Yeah, I was waiting for him to message him. He should have messaged him straight away. Is will he answer though? Leave our phones while we eat. Again, we missed opportunities. This is definitely that type of episode. Things go wrong for them and they try to communicate, but then some of the girls get in their way. You can, sorry, I'm just watching the food more than anything. <laughs> Seems like she wants him to do it a lot because she doesn't think he does anything because he does like dance videos. I feel like that this is also a generational thing, as if they we think the younger generations don't do anything because they make videos on social media when actually you can make money from it. I didn't mean. I'm really sorry I snuck out. What you did wasn't okay, Jenny. Wasn't cool. It's because she's afraid. She's she's genuinely very panicked. That's what it's about. I feel bad. Good. I feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. I know exactly what she's doing. Yeah, it's 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 created such a fear in her. She's actually having a breakdown. 
That's what it's about. Everything feels a thousand times harder. <laughs> Crying and eating, yeah. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I still have work, though. So. <laughs> But I'm scared. Yeah. Everything feels so uncertain. I'm, I'm supposed to be responsible for you. I'm supposed to take care of us. I'm supposed to keep it together. And, and sometimes it's, it's, it's just too much for me. I'm asking for your help, being more responsible now because, because I can't do it alone. But I think you're also not willing to let him truly help. I know I act like it a lot and, and I know you hate it. But I'm not your mom, Jen. Yeah, I, sister, right? <laughs> Why did she they leave? They should know better. They, they, should, they should fix this. They, they, they should make things better, but I don't think it will get better. Hasn't in over a year. And I know that we're luckier than most. But that doesn't mean it doesn't get hard. Beautiful scene. This actress did a really good job to talk and cry. But to make it feel authentic is actually pretty difficult. And she's pretty young as well. I don't see her being like massively older than him. And she's got all the pressure of being the eldest and keeping the family afloat. What she needed to do was have that breakdown, have that that moment with her brother and just let it out. I think this will make her feel much better. She's so afraid. But I want to know why the mum left. I hope we find out. Was it just selfish means? Was it work? It sounds like it was. she just upped and left. That was it. Because they used the word abandoned. Uh, that's why some people shouldn't be parents. Could be in more. I wish I could not have that. Yeah, you are. Oops. Dega la. Shut down to my lap. Gapuna. Who is that guy? At the end of part one, is that the one who plays Dicky, or is that just like the director? Was that who is that? <laughs> he is so invested in your potential relationship. Pero may bagong update si ano, si Cici Strong, yung isang akot na fina follow. Hmm, hmm, mo. Oh, Dicky. Uh oh, he's gonna get jealous. <laughs> well, maybe it's for you. I have never jumped up and screamed and yelled for like a partner ever. Or my friend, we all know. <laughs> no. Um, Alex, uh, I need your advice on something. Uh, I recorded a vlog earlier and I wanted your take whether I should post it. Yeah, good luck. 
more because of the hurt that he felt during that. And it's sweet that he's trying to include her in this. And then we're supposed to meet up today. I'm so excited by waited for him. But she This is definitely the heaviest episode and the saddest one. But this is about miscommunication and fear. Didn't show up. Seriously, so awesome. Okay. I can't believe you lead a more interesting life than me. How the hell did that happen? It's it's like it's like a manga. It's literally a freaking boys love manga. Oh, she's a fan. Why does anything like that happen to me? Why? Why? You want a boys love moment? Yeah. Even though you're a woman? Okay. Anyway, I wanted to ask Langsan if you think it's a good idea that I post it a vlog. Um... I don't know, Chen. It's awfully personal. Well, so if he so sees you it, think it's off brand. What? No, no, that's not, that's not what it means. Yeah, that's um, not off brand. Let's say. Are you okay you with making it. it so personal? You have like what? How many followers now? Fifteen k. Wow. Fifteen thousand. Um. Don't doubt. You're okay with don't that doubt. many people knowing something this close to your chest? It's not like I know any of them in real life. Okay. Well, you kind of do. Uh, what if Key sees it? He won't. How do you know that? Just you and me. Nah, it's he won't. I mean, even if Key does see it, he doesn't know the man that I'm CC. Oh, he does know. And besides, he hasn't seen me without a face mask on. So, how could he? So, guess what? Key. <laughs> you don't have time. Why? Who are you trying to have flirt with? Twenty minutes. Hey, how's he see through life, ko? Hopping from one webinar to the other. Kala mapo na yung kawalan ng buhay sa buhay ko. He's he's quite dramatic, but in a different way. Oh, now he's interested. Uh, I knew he was going to take the temperature of his crotch. Okay, okay. I don't know how many Are you seriously going to post this vlog? I mean, what's privacy nowadays? Did you just shush me? Yeah. Oh, wait, lang, Ads. It's key. Wait, wait. He called. Is he gonna post that by mistake? Yeah, you see, you want to be involved. Go listen at the door. I know you want to. Boy! I saw you! Huh? Boy, I'm not going to die. <laughs> I really like this show. Hello, Chen. Hi. Okay, um, bago ang lahat, kailangan ko muna mag-sorry, ah. Um, Whenever I hear them say sorry, they always lower their voice down to make it soft and sweet and innocent. I know na may stupid yung reason, pero fine, sige, sasabihin ko na lang rin. Yung that dog's gonna press. Eh, kinilangan ng isang residente. Ah, hassle naman nun. That dog is gonna press something if you let it to New York. Wala eh. Tapos, sinabayan pa ako dito ng ano, mga technical problems. Ah... Okay, get it. Sana that never.
<laughs> they temporarily ah, disabled oh. that. <laughs> May nalaman pala ako sa'yo ah. Jen? Ano yun? Sikat ka pala? Sisi Strong? How did you know? Pinapahalaw kita. Tapos nakita ko lang naman na suot-suot mo yung ano, yung trademark na face mask natin. Owls. They do wear the same one. Natin. Yung face mask! Yung... What's my face mask? So, alam ko na yung secret mo ha, CC Strong. What's your secret? That you're in, he, he's in your. Uh oh, the dog's gonna press play! Lassa! Hello. Hello. No! Okay, he's the way he turns. I feel like he's doing a bit of black pink. First of all, I hope the actress who plays Libby is really impressed with this episode. I think she was the breakaway star in this episode. I hope a lot of people give her praise for that. I think her acting was really, really good. Uh, like I said before, to cry and eat, but to make it authentic and not over the top, she did it correctly. And it's not actually that easy to do, especially in a heightened emotional scene like that, where she's having a breakdown. And she does represent a lot of people, even to this day. I know this was filmed last year, but this is a year later, and we're still in these lockdowns. And it is hard, and I like that she makes it clear that she knows she's lucky. You know, they have a nice house, she's got food on the table, that she has work, but she's struggling. I do think she takes it out on Chen, and I understand it's about responsibility and also a generational thing. And the fact that their mother, she said, abandoned them. That really always makes me sad when I hear stuff like that. It obviously gives them a layer, both the characters, because then we understand a bit more about them and maybe their emotional connection to people, uh, how they view relationships. Maybe they be a bit clingy or in Libby's case, it's her responsibility has just taken a toll because before she was the child, now she's the parent almost. I do see a divide as well in terms of, and I've said this, people tend to think people do any sort of social media, uh, they didn't do anything with their life. People make money off of like those videos, so they're still actually making a living. Maybe it's not as much as you make, but don't ever look down on someone for finding different forms or different ways to make money. Also, without these people or these videos, you wouldn't have your form of entertainment. And I think people don't realize in like the people in the entertainment industry, we are really looked at as just nothing to a lot of people, especially during this lockdown. This lockdown was a big highlight that they think we're expendable, but yet you want us to make the things that you watch and are entertained by and that you can gripe and moan about or praise, you know, but that whole scene really, I think was a good touch for the actors, it, you know, just, nice sense of where Libby's headspace is and again this show is right about miscommunication or missed moments you know it took until the end of the episode for them to talk after everything that went on and then and I said it because it was pretty obvious you knew where the story was going this isn't a very detailed story like you knew they've got their plot a plot b plot c and that's absolutely fine I'm really enjoying this show but you knew that dog was going to press play because he had the laptop open and the dog was a highlight because they wouldn't keep showing the dog kind of moving about on the bed and trying to get comfortable and get hugs and kisses without the dog pressing play and also it did say delete video uh, moment uh, it was disabled <sighs> uh, yeah it's definitely about miscommunication I have to say they do a nice little bit of humor 
Now, Wills, the actor who does him, does a really good job. You know, he sat there and he's going a bit stir crazy, you know, trying to take the temperature of everything, including his crotch, which I was waiting for that moment. But also, they they do to some person, I guess it's him and Dickie are very muscular men. And people's perception is if you're muscular, then you must be attractive. And then if you're not muscular, you're not. This is just that. Um, that's kind of the representation he gets, but he does a good job in kind of being a bit silly and let, allowing, I feel like he is the viewer. You know how like viewers scream and yell and they get excited for these moments? He is a representation of that. And Dickie likes Chen. Well, it seems like he does, or maybe he's just being like an older brother and looking out for him. Now, if those two met, Wills and Dickie, would they have a muscle off? Because that'd be quite funny to watch them both just take their shirts off and just pose. But the show knows how to use comedy. It's very light-hearted. It doesn't weigh heavy on the heart. This episode was the heaviest, but that's you know, nothing compared to other shows out there. And I think the show also knows its intention, it knows its purpose, knows its target audience. And it's definitely a younger generation, so like a Gen Z type video, which is actually fine because that is the current generation, I think. Is that the current generation? And why not? show them represented and show what they're going through especially during this time i hope i hope there isn't too much drama for them in the next episode but i still want some but i'm sure they'll be able to talk it out with their little dicky masks thank you for watching that was boys lockdown episode three and i will be back next week with episode 